Hold on, wait, 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 YouTube. We are in a safe and controlled environment. I am currently at the outdoor gun range. All weapons are used in a safe and professional manner. So please, don't demonetize this video. Y'all know what time it is. I'm back. Okay, I'm reloaded. Y'all see the thumbnail and the title, man. We're talking about that Palmetto State Armory M4, a nice budget AR-15. Is it worth the money and is it reliable? Let's see. This is the Palmetto State Armory PA-15 Classic M4. Man, this is really a reliable rifle with a little bit of modern touches on it, okay? All right. Hey, hey, don't, don't get at me in the comments, all right? I modernized it a little bit. I bought the upper and lower separately. And of course I put them all together. This is what you can get for less than $400. Like this whole build, not including the accessories, okay? Not including the red dot and the sling, but the rifle itself, the total came out to less than 400 bucks. We got a full lift 16 inch barrel rifle chambered in 556223. The barrel does come with a one and seven twist. Out of the box, it does come equipped with Palmetto State Armory furniture. That's your pistol grip, stock, and it does come standard with the Palmetto State Armory handguard. I did go ahead and put it on the mag pool handguard because I wanted some rails on the side so I can attach some stuff on it later on. I need a flashlight on there. But as we can see, this bad boy is colored in flat, dark, Earth, beautiful man. I just, I love this bad boy. So I did deck it out a little bit. I'm shooting with some YouTube compliant magazines. I'm shooting 223 out of here right now, hollow points. Of course, my favorite round. For the red dot on here, I went budget as well. I went Sealy T3. This is the Amazon red dot. You can get it for like 30 something bucks off of Amazon. So far, I mean, I've been using these Sealy T3 red dots for a couple months and I've had absolutely no issues. I mean, to the point where, also I do have a Nick Star three times zoom magnification on the back here. So when I wanna go back further and shoot something, I can easily see my target. I do have a ambidextrous charging handle on this bad boy. I like Ambi, it's a beautiful situation because as an ambidextrous shooter, you know, it's nice to be able to uh, charge it from any side. Let me see if I still got it. Yep, weapon on safe. And I do have it attached right now to a one point sling. Man, this is a nice gun, man. I don't care what anyone says. Palmetto State Armory is worldwide at this point. It's no longer just in South Carolina. Every gun tuber across the world has had some type of dealing or heard of Palmetto State Armory. And if you're just gonna continue to hate because they have budget options, you know what you can do? Shut your stupid ass. You can kick rocks, okay? PSA is amazing. And let me tell you something, man. The accuracy on this bad boy is amazing. This red dot, Sealy T3, it's nice. I want y'all to hear that still dang if you can. Just, just listen to it. Can you feel the dinging in your soul? Like, <clears throat> Palmetto State Armory M4. What? I love you. See that steel target all the way down there? That's what we're aiming for. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say yeah. This bad boy right here is pressure. Pressure. I've always wondered, what would happen if I shoot a steel target with some green tip 5.56? Five, five, um, <laughs> guess we're gonna find out today. Hopefully I don't uh, destroy my target now. I don't think the 5.56 five, is gonna go through the steel target. My opinion is maybe it'll damage it a little bit, like put a dent in it or something of that nature. But I have two green tips and one steel core penetrator. I'm gonna shoot all three just to see what happens. If the target has holes in it, somebody gotta buy me a new steel target, so. This is the steel target. Didn't go through, of course. 
I'm gonna assume that this big dent right here and maybe this one and this one. So maybe one, two, three. Are those rounds that I just shot? It definitely chipped away a little bit of the, the steel, but it didn't, didn't penetrate anything. I don't know who told me green tip 556 would penetrate steel. And I wasn't shooting from that far away, but for those of you who wondered, no, green tip 556 will not penetrate steel. Let's go. We're shooting flat dark earth might as well go ahead and pull out that mck glock should i do a dedicated review on the mck this is the glock 19 so i'm gonna take it down range and you know throw a couple of rounds through it This bad boy barely flinched at all. Oh yeah, review coming soon, so stay tuned. We definitely gotta review the MCK Gen 2. I don't know, it sounded like I missed a few of those shots. I'm not sure, can't really tell. But, man, I gotta put some batteries in my red now, this thing died on me. But I would say overall, man, the MCK definitely helps with accuracy. All right guys, so that definitely wraps it up for today's video. This is a beautiful combination right here. These two just go so well together. What you think? Yeah, I think so. I hope you guys enjoyed the content for today. If you haven't already seen my full 2023 gun collection, go ahead and click right here. Take a view, tell me what you think. Man, TKM family, we are on a roll to 20,000 subscribers. Let's get it, man, we can do it. Okay, I'll reload. This gun right here. Woo! Okay, I'll reload it. Are you prepared for a situation of civil unrest, riots, zombie outbreak? Are you ready? If so,